Hello everybody, today I'm going to uh, unbox and review a really nice uh, sh Baker's and Chef's restaurant quality non-stick fry pan. This is the 14 inch model and uh, I love it. Um, my wife and I we will be using it for you know a lot of Korean cooking that's for sure. Um, another nice thing about this uh, 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 non-stick pan I want to point out it's made in the United States so uh, you know you can feel good about the quality and that uh, you're buying something that's uh, uh, made in this country. Let's just take it out of the box first. And as you can see, it's a 14 inch pan. It barely makes it into this frame, okay? It's, it's a, a hefty piece of uh, cooking hardware. All right, first thing you see is brushed aluminum bottom. Um, very nice, uh, it basically it's a really thick aluminum uh, uh, base on this pan and it should uh, it distributes the heat really nice and evenly. Okay, second thing you'll see, stainless steel handle, okay? And it's about a quarter inch thick, if you can see right there. Uh, as well, so is the aluminum. So that'll resist warping and it'll hold the heat a little better. Um, and uh, should last you, you know, forever, basically. If you take care of it, this pan should last you a very long time. The handle also has a silicone heat uh, cover on it. And this is removable as well. You can take it off for cleaning if you wish. And uh, basically that's the description of the pan. Uh, as you can see, three rivets holding it on. They're super uh, heavy duty rivets. So that shouldn't be an issue for you. Uh, I'm going to weigh it for you, see how much it weighs, just so you know, because this is a heavy pan. So if you, uh, if you don't care to handle something that's this heavy, maybe this may not be the choice for you. Let me zero that up, weigh it up. That pan weighs 61 ounces, okay? So it's pretty heavy, and that's, uh, that's empty, okay? But it's heavy for a reason. It's going to last. Um, okay, do's and don'ts with this pan. Number one do, don't. Do not use any metal implements in it. Don't use a metal spatula, spoon, knife, fork, whatever. Don't use metal on non-stick pans. You'll ruin them. Number two, do not clean it off with a uh, scouring pad, like an SOS pad or a steel wool. Don't do that. Make sure you get uh, non-stick safe scrubbing pads for it. I mean, you really won't need it anyway because this thing will uh, clean up pretty easily since it's non-stick. You know, basically wipe it off with a, with a, with a uh, paper towel and you'll be fine. Let the, let the pan cool naturally on its own before you try and clean it. It should be cool before you get it into, into washing water. If you put it in hot, you'll warp or ch have a chance of warping it. I'll compare this to a cheap pan and as, as you can see, this one's beginning to brown in the center. The coating's starting to go. It's really thin and uh, you know, like I said, this is a throwaway pan. This, you use it for a year or two and you throw it away. That's basically all I can say about this pan. It's an uh, uh, excellent pan. I'm going to put the link in the description where you can get it. Uh, this is restaurant quality equipment, so it's not going to be cheap. But then you should get a, you know, you treat this right, you should get a generation or so out of it. It should last you a long, long time before you have to replace it. But once again, cautions, um, uh, do not take it from the heat into, hot, into cold water. Do not turn your burner to high to heat it up. That'll, that can ruin the uh, coating on the bottom and warp the pan. So you should really never go between, be, you know, go higher than medium, medium high on your burner. Okay? All right. Thanks for watching and I'll put the link in the description.